all-time favorite comfort meals would have to be meatloaf with mushroom gravy and a nice creamy mashed potato. So I'm gonna show you a quick little video of things you can pick up at the store um, that will make this a quick kind of winter evening meal. Pork and beef meatloaf that you can get right out of the Sobeys meat counter ready to go. It can go directly into the, into the oven and it's delicious, ready to go. So it really kind of simplifies things for you. With that, we're gonna roast some of these beautiful carrots. Uh, so these are Riverbend Farm carrots and uh, a local product, of course, and delicious. You'll find them uh, in the produce department, of course. Another great thing that we're gonna make our uh, mashed potatoes with. These are Poplar Bluff Organics. Uh, they're called Columbia. They're light yellow, uh, mid-range starch, and very versatile. We're gonna make the creamiest mashed potatoes you've ever seen. No shortage of butter going into these at all. And uh, of course, we're gonna make a beautiful mushroom gravy. So we have some nice creminis ready to go, uh, as well as a little bit of fresh thyme, and we're gonna build that for you right now. For mushroom gravy, we have melted a quarter pound of butter into the pan until it was foamy. We're adding half a pound of cremini mushrooms to the pan. We're gonna turn the heat up a little bit at this point and season it with two teaspoons of kosher salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. You start to see some evaporation happening, which is great. That's gonna equal great flavor in the pan. So you wanna do this with your mushrooms to get rid of some of the water. That requires higher heat. We've minced up a little bit of fresh garlic and after a little bit more evaporation, we're gonna add our onions, as well as our garlic to the pan. We're gonna give this a stir, and we're gonna turn the temperature down a little bit so we don't have any burning. Beautiful. We're gonna add a little bit of flour to the pan, and this is gonna create a roux, which will help thicken the sauce. The temperature is turned down a little bit further and we're stirring to combine. Add a little bit of white wine to the pan, followed by a cup of beef broth, a little bit at a time, stirring in between to avoid any lumping. Okay, so mince up your fresh thyme about two teaspoons to a tablespoon. We're gonna get that into the pan. We will bring this sauce to a nice simmer and simmer for about 15 minutes. Mm -mm -mm. For our glaze for the meatloaf, we're gonna combine half a cup of ketchup, a quarter cup of brown sugar, one teaspoon of onion powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, a quarter teaspoon of dry mustard, and one teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. We're gonna combine this with stirring it. This will go on the meatloaf about 10 minutes before it's finished, giving it a nice zippy glaze on top of our meatloaf. For our carrots, we've preheated the pan on the stove. We're taking our beautiful Riverbend carrots and we're just gonna give them one cut diagonally. This will leave the integrity of the carrot and help them roast up really, really nice. We're gonna to add to the pan a neutral oil. We're on kind of medium heat right now. We're gonna add our carrots to the pan and you can hear a little bit of a sizzle and that's great because that's gonna help create our caramelization that we're looking for. A little bit of kosher salt and some black pepper. We are gonna to continue to cook these on top of the stove top just to get a little bit of color on them. I'm gonna prep a little bit of garlic as well as some onion that we'll add halfway through the cooking process. Okay, we're starting to get some nice color in the pan. Those are looking really good. They are gonna go into the oven for about 10 minutes until they get a little bit tender and then we will add our onion and our garlic to the pan. There they are coming out of the oven and we've added our onion and garlic. They'll go back into the oven for about five to 10 minutes. Our meatloaf baked at 350 for about 35 minutes. We drained the fat, brushed it with the glaze, and baked it for another 10 minutes. Make sure that you have a 165 degree internal temperature. For our mashed potatoes, our Poplar Bluff Organic potatoes are nice and tender. We've simmered them for about 15 minutes. I've added a good amount of butter. Don't be shy with that. Mashed them vigorously, as you can see. We've added about half a cup of sour cream, a good dose of kosher salt, 
and continue to whip it. Don't let them cool down. You have to make sure they stay hot while you're doing this process. Always remember to taste as you go. Plate this up with copious amounts of those fluffy mashed potatoes. Top that with your roasted veg, a good slice of your glazed meatloaf. As you can see, Chef the Pup is waiting for her sample. Now top all of this with your lovely mushroom gravy and get ready so to there enjoy you it. have it, folks. We have beautiful meatloaf, mushroom gravy, whipped mashed potatoes, some roasted vegetables.